Hey everyone, this is Tatiana from Reading with Tatiana. Today is my April submission for Literary Gladiators and I'm reviewing Thanks to How the New Signs of Gratitude Can Make You Happier by Robert A. Emons. This is my monthly non-fiction contribution and I'll always appreciate if you're watching this video on this channel if you also check out my main booktube called Reading with Tatiana. This book, Thanks, how the new signs of gratitude can make you happier. I gave it unfortunately overall a 2 out of 5. I will have to defend myself in that I am hugely a big person that practices gratitude in my daily life. However, this book just didn't really hit it for me. The genre of this book I would put, as I said, nonfiction and specifically self help and also kind of like spiritual in some ways to kind of like better frame your mindset. And this book was published back in 2007. A bit about the author Robert A. Emons, he currently lives with his wife of 24 years in California and they have two sons and two dogs. Robert is very prolific in the gratitude, I guess, hemisphere or sphere. Uh, he is the founding editor and editor-in-chief for Journal of Positive Psychology. After reading this book, I can tell he's very passionate about gratitude, about positive thinking, and I think he really believes in the idea that any human can flourish if they practice gratitude. He is also a professor of psychology at the University of California and he has taught there since the 1980s. Uh, he also got his PhD at the University of Illinois and he is the author of over 200 publications in peer-reviewed journals and also books. As this is a non-fiction self-help book, I'll just share some things I liked and didn't like about this book. I always like to start negative because I always like to end with a positive note. So the reason why I didn't really like this book and gave it a 2 out of 5 is I think the book started out really strong by giving examples of, you know, kind of uh, pop culture or people that you kind of know, uh, know, like historically, like Stephen King or people like or historical philosophers. And I really enjoyed that at first. However, as the book progresses, it becomes just one after the other, after the other, after the other example. It became kind of repetitive and tedious because the outcome was always the same. I found that it was surprisingly dry to read just because of the repeated examples over and over again from various points. And I felt like I would have enjoyed it more if he fleshed out each story or maybe personified each example. Uh, yeah, it was a bit dry to read and I really struggled with getting to the end of the book, unfortunately, even though gratitude is something I really, really practice. Things that this book I really enjoy that kind of drive home the point of why gratitude is really important is that gratitude is a muscle. The more you use it, the more easier it will be to gain or to achieve. And this is something I really believe in. This book kind of drives home the point of something I believe in, or like you fake it till you make it. So maybe even at first, if you generally don't feel the gratitude or the positive thinking, just saying it vocally over and over again, it you will become reality. And this book kind of talks about people who are depressed or negative, that their framework of just being like the fetus or thinking they fail, just even saying that can add and take away from positive thinking. So this book really drives from the point that you know, even if you don't truly feel it, if you say positive things, and practice daily affirmations of gratitude, it will become a reality. On Goodreads, this book got an average of 3.74 out of 5. This book has been out, been out now for about 16 years, so I think this is very accurate. Reasons why people like this book is, um, as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of like fake it till you make it, positive affirmation. Uh, so to add to that, he also talks a lot about count your blessings. So throughout the book, he doesn't deny that in the history of humankind, that through different religions, that, you know, count your blessings has really helped a lot of people. Some people really didn't like that and felt there was too many religious aspects through the book. So I think if you are an atheist, this book is probably not for you. However, for me, I'm agnostic, so I was able to read past that. But that was something that people really didn't like about the book. People also don't like it because it's similar to me. They felt there's just too much repetitive, dry reading and they need to be like fleshed out a bit more. Uh, reasons why people liked it is they felt that not only did humans give examples of how gratitude works for other individuals throughout the history of humankind, we also gave scientific evidence and tests 
and experiments that also prove how gratitude works for humans. I think you should read this book if gratitude is something that you struggle with and you know this book will give you concrete examples of how you can practice that in your life. However, if you're someone like me that really truly believes in the power of gratitude and already practices, this book may be kind of redundant and you could probably skip to be honest. Now I'll share how this book made me feel because if you ask me a year, two years, five years from now, I probably won't remember exactly what this book was about, but I'll just remember how this book made me feel. So thanks, how this new science of gratitude can make you happier by Robert A. Eamons. It made me feel grateful. I know it's really cheesy to say that, but it did. Like, I'm very grateful to be alive. I'm grateful that I was able to read this book, even though I didn't really enjoy it. And you know, it's always great to see other people spread the idea of positive thinking. Thank you for watching until the end of my book review, Contribution for Literary Gladiators. If you're watching this video, again, I'll always appreciate if you check out my main channel, Reading with Tatiana, and I'll see you guys next month. Bye!